Hello, I'm Barry Brennan. I am the author of Spirit Tale. That was smooth. <laughs> the Lindbergh Legacy series, Unspoken, and the second book. Oh wow, I did it again. Well done, Sarah. Untold. <laughs> this video uh, was uh, the idea for this video was given to me. I have to confess by Maggie Stiefvater who did a video called Top 10 Reasons to Read the Raven Cycle. It was also given to me by the movie Easy A, which is a fantastic movie in which you want to watch. It stars Emma Stone. <laughs> and the biggest understatement since Noah's son said, wow, Dad, the rain's really coming down. I know Emma Stone. But I thought I would present to you anyway. Five reasons you should definitely not read Untold. Number one. <clears throat> I am a monster. I've got testimonials to this effect. I get messages like these from readers every day. You made me sad, and that's not okay. Calm down there, Satan. You have ruined me. Sarah Brennan just destroyed my soul. What is wrong with you? Who's the criminal? Sarah Brennan? I'll get the rope. You get the bag. Why do you do these things to me? I want to scream. The agony is unceasing. She feeds off our pain. She drinks our tears. Which leads me directly on to number two. Number two. Unspoken ruined everybody's lives. I have testimonials to this effect as well. Hmm. Behold Sarah's friend's utter glee at our pain and suffering. She thrives on it, drinking our agony as she would a fine vintage. When the day untold is published, we will weep a thousand tears, and each of them will empower her beyond all nightmarish imaginings. Maybe. Nope. Stop it, Sarah. Oh my God. Why? You feel like my heart. My heart in the blender. I do not want to feel like my heart is in the blender. One day I aspire to be evil like you. That's corrupting the children. That's bad. I'm crying and my tears are blood. Everything is blood. You might think that I've learned my lesson, but I haven't. This leads me to point three. Untold is no better. The thing about Unspoken and Untold is that they're gothic novels. This means books about young girls wearing white nightdresses, meeting tall, dark, and handsome houses. Houses are a little bit dangerous. Sometimes the Helsin gothic novels are a little bit actually on fire. But she can't stay away. Unspoken and Untold are slightly different. It's a boy trapped in the house, and the girl's a sassy reporter with an imaginary friend. But in one way I did stick to tradition. Leads me to point 3B. Number 3B. Someone's getting buried alive. It just happens. You go to the gothic house. Oh, I didn't make it. Somebody more talented made it. My sister is looking sick, says the owner of the gothic mansion. Better bury her alive. Shouldn't we get a doctor? No. Better bury her alive. No use fussing. Let's play a jolly prank, shall we? You know, I know a super good prank. Burying someone alive. It's tradition, and I had to stick to it. Also, I wanted to. I'm not telling you who's getting buried alive, because, well, be reason one. I am a monster. Number four. There's a ton of making out. The way I see it, Every book, every trilogy, it goes like this. Book one, set up. Book two, make out. Book three, defeat evil. This holds true for every single trilogy, including the Lord of the Rings. For instance, you know, there's Aragorn, and he's like really happy having his romance in the footnotes. And then in the actual text, in book two, there comes a beautiful maiden riding around. She's like, hey, Ranger, how are you doing? Also, we get more proof that Frodo and Sam's love is true. I don't make the rules, I just abide by them. And making out is awesome. Actually, number four seems like a good reason to read the book. Except, you know, romance and feelings are for girls, and girls aren't creepy. Don't know what to tell you. Now, here we come to a really compelling point, which is this. Number five. There are a lot of good books out there, though. Indeed, there are. In fact, I have made a list. Now 
gonna be unfair. God, why? I do it. Ahem. I have it. Damn, that didn't help me. Holly Black, the coldest girl in Cold Town. Coolest vampire novel ever. Robin Wasserman's The Waking Dark. Scarier than Stephen King. Maggie Stiefvater's The Raven Cycle. Witch has Welsh mythology and a boys' boarding school. And Melinda Lowe's Inheritance, the sequel to Adaptation, in which a girl is uh, torn between a dashing dude on her debate team and a girl. They're all really good. I understand if you want to read them. They might not even rip out your soul. However, if you also wish to read Untold, and you, all you need to do is send to my email address a picture of yourself with the book, and I will send you a signed book plate. Just put a sword on it. That's inappropriate, like everything else I do. I know it's bribery. And I know that if I allure you into reading Untold, you will suffer. I have a poster. A poster that proves everything I'm saying. All that old books get this poster, remember? But I don't care. I'd like you to read Untold anyway. But I thought I'd be honest and tell you the reasons why you shouldn't. Maybe make you want to read it more. Well, you've been warned.